Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game no one survived. We're in season three, now episode 107. Well, I started to make a few things off camera. Just I'm trying to get the car parts up and going. So we've got two of these armored tires for the truck, but we need six. Uh, up here we've got three ordinary tires that we found, and we did uh, we did originally make one of the off-road tires here. This is the one that fell out the back of the cupboard um, <laughs> and thanks to Chig we actually found it on the ground um, but yeah we need to keep uh, keep going um, I've got some ingredients back in here for another tyre so I think I've got enough in there again so let's make another armoured tyre um, I did start clearing out so I was kind of trying to keep rotating between manufacturing the car parts and then clearing out the warehouse. So they did throw some stuff in here. I mean, I cleared out a reasonable amount of stuff, I guess. Um, I took out all the clay. Oh, gee, I tell you what, I don't, I don't need clay uh, anymore. Um, and then I was thinking, yeah, I don't know why. They, this is kind of leftovers from. Uh, as long as I can fit it all in. Hey, just. Um, when they uh, upgraded the ability, I think the stick racks now take three times what they did before and so on, so... But yeah, um, I had it, I had the warehouse for the NPCs set to uh, logging, and it was producing all the logs and the, and the sticks and... What was that? Not sure what Mike was up to there, but anyway... Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to run down here and go, oh, I need to clear out some space. That's a, an awful lot of silver ore. I, I'm basically just processing it anyway. Make some more space in here. I'm trying to stick to the same product so I can just grab all of the same thing. And then put it all inside the, the same little furnace. So I think, where do we have it up here? Yeah. Uh, let me take out all of those, and we'll fill this. Make it chockers, doesn't matter. Make this absolutely chockers with silver. So silver, 168, oh my goodness. So even if we fill this up in one stint like that, that's only 45, so that's got, uh, that's got a lot to go. Uh, I'll swap you these. Guess I can put that in there. That's pretty much ready for another coal. So yeah, a lot of um, a lot of I don't know behind the scenes manufacturing and, and whatnot. I do need. I don't actually have a cupboard out here for engines, do I? Uh, maybe we need to make one. I mean, I obviously need an engine for the. Well, I need a couple of engines for the truck to get the two trucks back here at some point. Let's take the tyre out of here. And we might have a look at what it costs to... I don't think it's as bad as you think. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Uh, whoops. Getting ahead of myself. So I need another three tyres. I need the engine. Haven't even got on to doing the, uh, the other bits and pieces like the fuel filter and speed up device and all that kind of stuff. Engine. What does the engine need? Uh, five steel. So need another two steel, another copper, an iron. Is that it? No. No, I in the motor. So steel, iron, copper. Hmm. Let's have a look. Steel, we can split off two. So there's the steel. I think the iron actually just... Yeah. Oh. Pretty certain we just need one of each of these. There you go. I think that's it. And then we have to grab a motor. So if I throw that in there, and that there, and that there, and go grab a motor, which we've got too many of. We technically have way too many motors. We won't have, though, if all of a sudden you go, oh, I kind of want to put, you know, traps around the base. This big base, that is. Should be able to craft one. There you go. 
Um, I'm going to sneak up and have a look at the battery table. Yeah, it is down a bit, isn't it? How are these guys going? Are they about to... Just while I remember, I am going to split that. Oops, and probably just put one in both, I think. Actually, now that I remember it, did I end up making rubber in here? I did. Here's another nine. So that, that rubber came from putting just the oil cans into that workbench. Yeah, we still need it. We're going to end up running out of rubber because we <laughs> need so much rubber to make the car tyres. Not there yet. So what do we got? We've got the three tyres. Oh, that's right. We've got to do armour as well. How are we doing? We don't even have armour on the um, our current truck. Forty iron. Oh wow. I guess you're not making it all the time, but um, even the current car, if you have a look, I'm not sure how. I think everyone's. Oh no, it's only when you get in it, isn't it? Yeah, see my car tyres are down to about three quarter health. It's like, hmm. Okay. Okay, and I think Entari was telling me, yeah, you just take the car engine out with a repair kit in your inventory. And you can fix it. So how many car repair kits? We've got four in there still. That's not so bad. You finished? Yay! Well, we got an engine, guys. I guess you could say we're kind of halfway there. Um, I don't. Th I think you can only fit three engines in the in the chest anyway. Three tires. So it's going to be similar to this, isn't it? So it's going to have six tires. I've got a battery. The other thing, yeah. So basically, now we just need to make three more tires, um, and then probably some armor for it. <coughs> I guess we could put the armor under the engine. Uh, how much did I say? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. It's going to be expensive making the armor. My current car, though, kind of. It, it practically needs it, to be honest. Um. Uh, you know, not all the time, but sometimes the, the zombies do come up and push the car around and stuff and you know I'm, it's probably worse now because the armor is taken into account um oops hang on uh, so we're gonna if we're gonna do arm we might as well do the proper stuff so 10 steel 15 copper oops 10 steel and then 15 copper that's 15 just as well we've kept making all those ingots, otherwise there'd be uh, no chance. Actually, I can probably just put it in there, because it's just going to replace it, I'd gather. Uh, I'm not sure how big it's going to be, though. So, that's the high-end armour. It didn't need anything else, did it? Okay. Alrighty, then we just need... Uh, what was it per wheel again? If we were making the... It's 30 rubber per wheel, right? So we need another 90. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem, because I think there's 10... So one row right across the top. So we've definitely got enough rubber to make the next three tyres. It's just a tad time-consuming. Um, by the way, I was... Um, I'm still trying to make the full meal that uh, Jimmy was talking about in the comments, and I'm going... Still got five days to go um, for strawberries and the potatoes, so I kind of still have to wait. But looks like I'll probably be able to make quite a few. What's the gang doing down there? Not a lot. Chicken sounds a bit happy. Um, over here. Yeah, it does take a while. I think it's at 120. So that must be like. Of minutes. Go up and 
grab some food while I'm waiting, I suppose. Some of the normal food. Uh, we'll consume some of this. Mainly fatigue. There you go, and one of them should sort it all out. And then we might have a shower. Food's up. Cleanliness is not great at the moment, so we'll just do a quick shower. So I guess once the armor's done on the truck, we haven't got that much more to go, just the three tires. Hmm. It's almost like we're almost ready to go. Oh, it is pretty small. Oh, cool. Alright, I wonder what hap wonder what this little truck looks like when it's got armor on it. There you go. Holy dearly. Looks like something out of Mad Max, doesn't it? Goodness me, look at that. Oh, wow, even at the back. Yeah, that's pretty well thought up, isn't it? Huh. And the silly zombies coming up trying to attack. Look at that. Oh, well, she's pretty well guarded now. What's it look like when you're actually in it? Any... whoops. Not the back seat, Trev. Front seat. Okay, so the armor's full. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, well our little little truck looks a bit different. Goodness me. Still don't think the tyres really look like off-road tyres. Hmm. No, it doesn't really to me. Anyway. Alright, more tyres, Trev. More tyres. So we need more rubber. We're going to need everything else, actually. Um, yeah, I might save it here, too, now that I've got that part done. Uh, one, two, three, four, make it five. So I have enough rubber for the next tyre. Oops. So we're going to line these up. Probably don't have to, but... Oh, I couldn't remember how many rubber I had in here, but... Have a lineup of rubber. Scroll down to the tire. Uh, six steel, eight copper. So six steel, eight copper. How many's in there? Need uh, twenty iron. So that, that's all the ingots. Uh, we can probably do the same, just throw them in wherever. Because the tyre's only going to replace it, I think. One car spare parts... I think that's it. Off we go again. Kind of wondering what's going on with my... Yeah, I think it's chewing through the power quite a bit here. The poor little tiny battery is trying to charge up. I keep using it all the time. Have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, like I said, I should be taking the little black batteries over to the horde base and just letting that do its work over there. Alrighty, so we should have enough ingredients, I think, to make another few more tyres. And then the same thing, we'll have to jump in the car here and take them up to the... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, we could probably just do the one run. I've got bags in the car. I'm so glad now I've got some spare bags um, in these ones too. Just in case I get stuck and I need some bags to go and get some stuff. Kind of what happened last time when they wiped the inventory of the car and I wasn't quick enough to get to it to take the gear out. Anyway. It is what it is. I wonder if I affect that at all. Hmm. Getting low on the old car spare parts. Throw those in there. Heaps of rubber. 
almost actually here. Yeah. If I can grab, split one off of there, grab eight, that'll be enough rubber to do a second tyre. Oop, that was quick. And then... That's, that's tyre number four, so two more to go. Repeat and rinse, I guess. What was it again? It was, um, was it six? I think it was six. Six deal. Uh, was it eight? Copper, I think. Twenty iron. Should be enough rubber in there, enough spare car spare parts. Let's have a look how close to the money are we. Yep. Making car tie number five. We'll grab a little bit more in the way of rubber. Might as well just fill that out. Gee whiz, i tell you what, going through the rubber quick. It's one of those things too, like you don't know until... Because it's early access and they're still working stuff out. Sometimes you just don't know how much gear you're going to end up going through or needing. But yeah, in this game, yeah, just get lots of everything, <laughs> basically. Okay, we should be right for rubber and the car spare parts, so it'll just be another case of bringing back some more ingots, I guess. Uh, I did check on the animals beforehand, they're okay, they don't need feed or water or anything, so they're all good. While that's doing that, did these guys bring anything more in? but I can certainly clean up some of this stuff, I suppose. Take all the copper we can. And a few other bits and pieces. Hi, guys. Um, I was thinking I could... Uh, no, I bet not. Don't need to store it in there. Although I do need to... Um, Keep making some copper in uh, nuggets. Take that out. Keep this going right to the max. Here need uh, fur and I think I still kept plant fiber around the back here. I mean, you can pretty much keep it anywhere, but yeah, there's some up there. Stores a bit better now than it used to, which is a good thing. Alright, drop off a little bit more of that. I've got miscellaneous stuff sitting in there too, actually. Uh, that sounds like it's finished. Cool. Let's drop off tyre number five. No, it's kind of... It's, it's going pretty good, actually. So, how much have we got? I think we've got... Looks like we've got 30 rubber anyway. Okay. Oh, I can get through there. Connor wasn't expecting that. I think it was six steel, wasn't it? And eight copper, of which I think I've got some there anyway. One, two, three, four. Not sure now. I think I had three still in here. Nah, jeez. Good one, Trev. I'm one copper off. Close, but not close enough. There you go. So this should be tyre number six, shouldn't it? Uh, no, not the engine, Trev. Okay, so it's making car tyre, I think, number six. It is. See if we can stack the car up with this stuff. So, do these guys have stuff in them? No. Oh, I can fit three car tires in each one. Okay. Okay. So my three car tires are in this yellow one, and 
I guess this will be the same. It's got a bit of stuff down the bottom, but nothing to worry about. So when car tire number six gets made, oops, I think I should be able to put it in there. I don't even know why I've got these sitting in here actually. I'll leave that there for a sec. I don't believe I need to repair my gun. Can I fit that in anywhere? No. Down here? No. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, we'll fit it in here then. There you go. Put back a little bit of 762 ammo. Go in there. And put some extra coal up into here, which is always good. And where will we be up to? One more tyre coming out of here. I suppose we don't really need the armour on the truck immediately, we could always just, we just need the engine and the six tyres to get it started. I wonder if that blue progress bar has to go across, oh no, that's kind of weird, it starts and finishes in a weird, weird spot I think. Alrighty, um... kind of thinking I don't really need to put it in there because I can just carry it in my inventory I suppose. Alright, the two yellow bags at the top have the car tyres. I need to take an engine with me. Oh, I, I need fuel, don't I? I don't need a lot, but... Yeah, 20 fuel would probably be okay, I suppose. So let's go... we have to reverse out. The animals are always in the way in this. I don't know why they want to come down that area, but... They kind of spoil my um, drive through garage. Anyhow. We'll go up and set up the vehicle. Then off camera I'll probably do the old boring run all the way back up to get it. But at least this way we've got everything to get it started. I don't think it would use more than 20 litres or whatever it is to drive all the way back to the base, would it? Otherwise I might have to do a little drop into the servo, pick up some more fuel up here perhaps. What do you reckon about the car? She looks pretty mean, eh? <laughs> Spikes all over the place. I wonder if that means if the zombies attack it, they... One, don't do so much damage because it's armoured, but two, I wonder if they die easily, or more easily. Because it's got spikes on it now, I don't know. Yeah, see, imagine what it's like, I have to run all the way back up here to get the trucks. And the first one's uh, a far enough distance, imagine what the second one would be like. Oh well, we've done it before. We can do it again, Truth. up here. See, it's a blue, it's a blue truck. And you get closer and it changes from blue to brown. I don't know why it does that. Look, blue. And then it's like, oh, now I'm brown. Yeah, there's always someone, isn't there? There's a police officer. Anyone else? Any other takers? So, yeah, see, like my blue truck. Yeah. Anyhow, we can now put an engine into the truck. Oh, we can't put the fuel in until um, it's up and running, I guess. Alright, I'll swap you. Uh, can we do it this way, I wonder? We can, Trev, we can. Yeah, I'd like to see how this works. So... One there, one there. So they're the two tyres for the front, right? 
I actually wonder whether you can drive the truck without, um... Actually, I might put that back. Uh, without having the t the, all, all the tyres at the back. Um, now, curious. Somehow, I think it's magically off the ground. Don't worry, I won't say anything. Oh, really? What the? Hang on a second. Didn't I just put two to hey, what? Hang on, haven't I got two spare tyres now? Oh, I have. Oh, that's kind of good news. It means now I have to manufacture two more tyres for the next car. So it's only... It, oh, wow. So when you put in one tyre, it actually puts two on the car. Hey, that's pretty cool. Bit weird, but still it works. Alright, I have to remember we've got two car tyres sitting in there now. Uh, did this one still have the fuel? Yes, it does. Okay, so... We don't need to... Oh, the battery. I forgot the battery. Uh, hang on. Was it... There. Oh, wow. It's not 90. It's 150. Oh, wow. Alright. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to have to go back and get... I'll, I'll actually go back and get the battery and... Um, some more fuel. I might, hang on, I can't remember when it was the last time I went to the fuel station down here, so... Oh, look at my tyres! What the... Gotta figure that out. That's pretty high wear, isn't it? I think that's too high. I think that's what we've all been saying. I wonder if you can fix your tyre. It's almost like you need to take the tyre off, have a repair kit on you. Now, where's my fuel station down here? Yeah, there's the opening. Alright, I'm doing it here. Let's see if we can steal some fuel from the fuel station here. Where the heck's the opening? I don't remember it being that far up. Oh, it's not that big a deal. Just got to run down here under the bridge, turn right. Try to loot the petrol station. What have we got? Yeah, we should have enough room to get four. Hang on. What? Am I... Am I lost or something? I think I just lost myself. I thought the fuel station was up there. Gee whiz, Trev, you've come in way too early. Oh, there's the opening. That's where I should have come in. That's right, I run across the pedestrian crossing, don't I? I've got plenty of ammo on me, so surely. Uh, the guys are a tad quiet. I was gonna say, you're a bit slow coming to the party. Uh, it's a bit creepy when that happens. You no, no fuel in that one. Oh, okay. Wow, I could get five out of that. Oh, well, that'll have to do. That's still 50 litres, that means... We're almost up to half a fuel tank. 
Hang on, let me pinpoint this again. So I run through here. That's the easiest way of getting to the road. But when you come out... Oh, it's near the sign. Okay, it's just... It's between the sign and the main base. Holy dilly, so where'd I park? Way up there somewhere. Yeah, got to remember that. Fuel station is closer to that sign. Yeah, look how far up I parked. Totally misjudged that, didn't I? Anyway. Well, I guess I'm going to have to leave the episode here, but, uh, yeah, what I might do is off camera, I'm just going to basically go to the base, pick up a charged uh, little black battery, um, put, I'm assuming that the black, little black battery suits that truck. It'd be interesting if it was something else, but anyway. I've got charged of the other batteries anyway, but, um, I'll basically take all this stuff to the base, and then, uh, yeah, I'll come back and I'll have to do a run. I'm better off taking the fuel and battery and all that in the in the vehicle so the truck the new truck is ready to go type thing. And then I'll just have to do an off-camera run all the way up and pick it up and bring it back to the base. So next episode what you guys will see should be that the new truck is sitting down here at the base and then I guess we can outfit it with um armor as well. That would look pretty cool. Look, I'd look forward to seeing that. And then basically we have to repeat and rinse the whole thing all over again to get the second truck. Anyway, but that w that, that'll be pretty cool. Have a spare truck at the base. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to have to leave the episode here. Certainly hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, you can really help the channel out by smashing that like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone. Thanks so much. Cheers.